Sen Tirupati Balaji Temple, the abode of Lord Venkateshwara, located in Tirupati, Andhra Pradesh. This mandir complex is one of the most revered and visited in India and is used by millions. So although this narration is about that, the video uses the accessible replica temple, which is one hour away from Coimbatore, owned privately to circumvent lesser scriptural government trusts like Devastanams, purifying, pudja, and other rituals are the same. Food offered to Balaji called Prashada, at least at Then, is free. They replicate the famous sweet treat Ladu, but at Then, at least, this treat costs 25 rupees pre-COVID price. And you can even buy textiles specializing in trousers. 1. Architectural Marvel The Tirupati Balaji temples showcase exquisitely detailed Dravidian architecture from the 800s to 1400s through Pallava, Chola, Pandya and Vijaya Nagara dynasties. The towering Gopuram entrance tower, one of many and up to 50 meters high, holds the intricately carved pillars like everywhere of deities and their scenes, gods and goddesses. The Vemama, or the tower above the central, Garbhagriha, which houses the main deity, is an important architectural element, adorned with gold-plated copper plates. Mandapam's halls are used for various purposes. The Ranganayaka Mandapam, for example, is used for conducting religious ceremonies and rituals, while the Kalyana Mandapams are used for performing marriage ceremonies Multiple prakrams, enclosures, serve as pathways for devotees to circumambulate around the main shrine. Adjacent Anaprashadam complex is where free meals are smoothly distributed to thousands of devotees every day. There are several shrines, courtyards, and there is even a pool. Number 2. Visitor Information It is well connected by road to Then Temple. You sign in as a factory visitor. For worship. The original temple follows a strict dress code and men are required to remove their shirts and wear a traditional dhoti, that's traditional garment, while women are required to wear saris. As one of the holiest pilgrimage sites for Hindus, it cleanses one's sins, bringing prosperity and fulfillment of one's wishes, blessing devotees with wealth, health and happiness, but most importantly, help with spiritual uplift, so leading to spiritual enlightenment. Pilgrim accommodation includes guest houses and dormitories plus free dining halls. 3. Darshan and rituals, meaning the sighting, and here is of Lord Venkateshwara, is the highlight. Staying in the centre Garbhagriha, he stays in his Vamana. Devotees queue for hours to catch a glimpse of the deity. Various rituals and sevas, which are offerings, seek his blessings. The most popular is where devotees participate in the daily rituals and have a close darshan. Devotees shave their heads as, as a symbol of surrender and devotion to the deity called hair tonsuring, offering their shaven hair. Today there are other perks for doing this, thwarting vanity as well as saving maintenance time, resources and money, keeping the brain cool, I'm not sure. Or festivals and celebrations. As you can see, the celebrations and festivals are very concise. Brahmot Savam is a nine-day annual festival in September or October. During this festival, with beautiful decorations, rituals and processions, Vaikuntha Ekadasi, Ratha Saptami and Ugadi attract large swathes. 5. Donations and Contributions As per Sanatana rules, the upkeep is possible only from donations and contributions from devotees but government ownership can use tax or funds to provide security, for example, whereas privately owned citizens can wisely offer their own manufactured goods while adhering to a stricter scriptural rules rather than arbitrary changes. And finally, six, historical and scriptural significance. The original temple is where Varaha first set foot on land, which about 2,500 years ago was called Thiru Vengatam and appellated near the Yon Kundaram, the northernmost frontier of the Tamil kingdoms. Late in the year 1000, Sri Ramanuja would invoke Lord Venkateshwara, cite the Thirubai Moji, 
referenced in Sangam literature like Silapa Tikaram and Mani Meghalai. Parumal Vishnu Venkatarshvara later manifested himself on the same spot to save humanity from the troubles. He stayed, as promised to his devotee Raj Akash, in the end of the 24th Tritayug, when he was Lord Rama, at Venkata Tri, which is hill, Venkata Chalam, now, Sesha Chalam, hill, or Tirumala, to save humanity from the troubles of Kali Yuga, which is the current age of darkness and chaos, which in turn started in 3102 BC. The temple is mentioned in Rig Vid as Vikat, Mahabharat, and Puranas like Skanda, Shiva, Brahmanda, and Bhavishyotara. This Vishnu is a preserver and protector of the universe in Hinduism. The Srimad Bhagavatam explains the account of Varaha saving Bhumi and the Alps from Hiranyaksha. Reflected in the latest cycle 106 million years ago, the Varaha Purana adds that Varaha set Brahma and Shiva to regenerate the earth while he himself turned into Vekadashvara, with Garuda fetching bejeweled Gridachala hills formed like Shesha and Vaikuntha, Vishnu assuming a tranquil and composed appearance, granting boons to people unable to reach the deities through the Yam Yog which is meditation, and karma yoga, doing one's duty, so as particular for the purpose of Kali Yuga or any of the worst mini-cycles. Venkateshvara appeared with four arms and a white face, adorned with jewels and accompanied by Lakshmi, though the Silapa Dikaram notes him as the red-eyed great one with two lotus hands. His white face, this kalpa, is a reflection of white-haired Varaha, and white-haired Narasimha, who appeared at the same time to each fighter brother each, meaning the transcendental half-lion killing Hiranya Kashipa during the difficult mini-cycle of that Satya Yuga, Sri Venkatashvara Sahasha Namastotra, as references to Brahma performing Utsavam festival. So today a small empty chariot for Brahma leads the procession for Malayapa. I'm going to read out details just from the Skanda Purana section 1 called Venkata Kala Mahatmya in chapter 1. Mother Earth eulogizes while speaking to Lord Varaha, the transcendental boar. Tagore, translation, adds some directions and proximities of the auspicious water bodies around the temple, detailed from verse 52 to 83. Erogeny changing names with each yug, but I'm going to explain the seven most sacred tirthas in the correct order of six, even though... Only five are titled, such as the difficulty of parts. First will be Lake Kumara Darika. The last is Pushkarina Tirtha, 